Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Saban and welcome to an episode of Sib Tips. And this time we're gonna be looking at windows. So I'm gonna give you some different techniques and little tweaks that you can make yours really fun, really unique and really stand out. So if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more and leave a request of what you would like me to do a tip on next. So I've watched a lot of videos and I've just sort of condensed it down to some sort of key elements that really make your builds awesome. So let's get down to it. I'm gonna show you over 10 different styles of windows. So the first one you may have seen before, it's just to change up the pane of glass to make it look a little bit more stylish. And it's just basically putting some glass brick over the top of glass wall and then hammering them to diamond shapes, as you can see, and then actuate them to then disappear. And then it leaves a black outline, which looks pretty cool. And using the same technique, I used it in my Moonlord Church build, which if you use it over the top of stained glass, it actually makes a black line around certain areas and it just makes them stand out a little bit more and again, makes them look a little bit better. Another technique you can do with windows is make little portholes and it's really easy to do. Four squares of glass wall and then you cover it with wood. I use Boreal wood in this particular example, but you can use any wood. It all looks pretty cool. Just see what your style is and then you just hammer them down and then you hammer their center ones to then reveal the window in the middle. You can make these as big or as small as you want and you can even make them a little bit of a funky shape. All works pretty well. Another technique are these little panes of glass at the top, which is basically you're just putting glass wall, but you're not allowing the connection between the two. So it actually leaves an indentation, which looks like a sort of a divided window. And then to clean it up, you go around the outside with your selected material. In this case, again, I've used Boreal wood all the way around, and then you actuate them to disappear. So just so that they don't collide with you and they just sort of work a little bit better. And using accented stone slab along the bottom makes it look like a little windowsill and it just completes it and makes it look a little bit better the next style is to do with stone windows and you can just use lead fencing to use as a standard window and then use actuated blocks of stone slab around the frame just to make it look like it's got a windowsill and you can play around with this with using boreal wood because it seems to connect a lot better so it looks like a bar so if you color it gray you can make it look a sort of a grill looking window and taking it one step further is if you hammer the platform so they're staggered, you can then do some funky little things with it. And in this sort of example, I did a stained glass window behind it and I thought it looked pretty cool. just to show you, you can use the same portal technique on the stone windows as well. You can even make them look like a cross, which is a bit more authentic to a stone castle, for example. Next, using a combination of platforms and a rope going down the center, and then using either lead fencing or boreal fencing to blend the two together. So the between the platforms and the rope, and then paint it all black. Kind of looks like the lead stripping on windows. So this on one of Dan the Little Man's videos. So shout out to him for this one. And you can also use boreal beams on either side. It kind of gives the frame a lighter appearance. These next two are actually using balloon blocks. The way that they join up, it kind of works as like a, a wiggly frame and it works really well to make just a bit of an alternative frame and you can paint it any color you like. It could even be a fancy mirror. So we wanted a chunky stone frame for your windows. This is using a sandstone brick and then you use palladium column to actually just indent the brick on the way down. And then accented stone slab for the bottom and the top and then you just hammer them into place. It look kind of cool. And if you wanted to hang yourself some curtains up, you can put a platform along the top of the window, hammer the platform so it's level with the window, and then using pumpkin wall, you can color it any color you like, and it kind of looks like curtains. I saw this on one of Fury Forge's videos, and I thought it was a really good idea. So those are some techniques. I hope they help you out. Let me know if they have, and comment what tip video you want me to do next. So like the video if it helped you out, and subscribe if you want to see more, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.